This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks, EA. Hi guys, my name is Greener Gemsville and welcome to a walkthrough of the Missing Claws seasonal quest in Sims Free Play. This quest has a time limit of 13 days and it is available from the 12th to the 24th of December. If you're watching this video during that time and you haven't got this quest, definitely make sure you go into your app store and check that you've got the latest version of Sims Free Play. And if you're watching this video outside of those times, and I'm afraid you have missed this quest and you'll have to wait to see if they bring it back at another time. This is a long quest split into different daily goals with a prize every day. We have already completed the first six days in a previous video which is linked down below in the description and on the screen now. We are starting the quest from day seven in this video. This quest is part of the holiday update and I have got a ton more videos on the holiday update so make sure you check the description for links to any other quests and events. This is the grid for the Missing Claws quest and you can see that we have already won the first six items. In this video we are going to complete the second part of the quest where we are going to win these prizes along the top. And we will also unlock Santa's Rustic Farmhouse template. Let's get started with day seven. In this part, we are playing to unlock the farmhouse laundry pack. We need to give magical mail to Mrs. Claus. Your sim hands over the speckled eggs and waits for Barbara and the ice cream to finish creating the hot and cold magical mail. Finally, it's ready. Barbara hands your sim the magical mail. This is it. The fate of Christmas rests on Barbara's mystical cuisine. Have your sim give the magical meal to Mrs. Claus. So let's find Mrs. Claus. Oh, she's upstairs in bed. Click on her and give magical meal is one hour, 15 minutes. Now we need to discuss next steps with Santa. Your sim gives the magical meal to Mrs. Claus. Her recovery is startling. The power of your sim's persistence, teamwork and magic is truly something. Now that Mrs. Claus is recovered, Santa will be able to fully focus on Christmas. What could the next steps be? Have your sim discuss the next steps with Santa. So click on Santa and discuss next steps is 15 minutes. Now we need to discuss missing elves with Frank. Your sim informs Santa that Mrs. Claus is well again and asks for more information on what the next steps are to get Christmas back on track. He expresses his profound gratitude and says finding the missing elves and getting the workshop back in operation is the first step. Can Frank the elf help? Have your sim discuss missing elves with Frank. So Frank will have an exclamation mark above his head to make him easier to find. Let's click and discuss missing elves is 2 hours 15 minutes. Be chickens at Santa's farmhouse. I love these chickens, they're adorable. Your sim attempts to speak to Frank. Santa wanted me to feed them chickens, but the way they look at me. Frank is clearly suffering from alert to a phobia, a fear of chickens. Have your sim feed four chickens at the farmhouse. So let's go over to the chicken coop. Click on it and feed chickens for Frank is eight hours and 15 minutes. And you need to get four sims doing that. You can do it after each other, but it's obviously it's much quicker to get four sims over here doing it. We have fed the chickens. Now we need to ask Frank about the missing elves. Chickens fed? Check. That should alleviate Frank's alectorophobia and hopefully he can shed some light on the location of the other elves. Have your sim ask Frank about the missing elves. So let's go back to Frank. Click on him and ask about missing elves, 15 minutes. Ride Rudolph to the park. Your sim asks Frank if he knows the location of the other elves. Well, Kurt and Pat went to Simtown looking for Rudolph and the sleigh, he replies. Well, it's a start. Your sim instructs Frank to head back to Santa's workshop. Time to find Kurt. Have your sim ride Rudolph back to the park. Rudolph is over here. Let's just click on him and ride to the park. And then that task just completes when we come over to the park. Now try to wake the sleeping elf. Your sim arrives at the park and spies a sleeping elf on a park bench. What? They're asleep? Have your sim try to wake the sleeping elf. So if we go to, oh look, over here, this park bench here, click and try to wake five hours, 15 minutes. 
And congratulations, we've completed the seventh set of goals in the Missing Claws Christmas Quest and received the Farmhouse Laundry Pack. Terrible fever, the soup did break, Mrs. Claus will no longer ache, a fear of chickens, elf mystery thickens, now a sleeping elf to shake. On to part eight, and you may have to wait a while, a part comes out every day, so if you have finished this seventh part quickly, you may have to wait until you can start part eight. In part eight, we are playing to unlock the cozy comfort pack, which I think includes the fireplace, which I love. We need to put Kurt's mind at ease. Kurt's eyes snap open. Gosh, I never sleep on the job. Well, except that time I was up all night playing the boss is going to fire me for sure. Better let Kurt know that Rudolph has been found. Have your sim put Kurt's mind at ease. We'll click on him and put at ease for 10 minutes. Now we need to ask Kurt about the missing elves. Kurt is relieved Rudolph has been found and is eager to go back to work at Santa's workshop. Your sim needs to ask him if he knows what happened to the other elves. Have your sim ask Kurt about the other missing elves. Click on him again. Ask about the missing elves. 10 minutes. Look for evidence of Pat at the park. Your sim asks about the location of the missing elves. We split up. Pat thought he caught a glimpse of a red glow and went off to investigate, says Kurt. Have your sim look for evidence of Pat's presence in the park. Hint, make sure to check all of the exclamation mark icons. So let's zoom out on this. Look for evidence is 6 hours 15. Let's call over some more sims so we can get this done quicker. Click on the barbecue. Look for evidence, 6 hours 15. Is there any more? Oh, yep, yeah, there is. Over in the toilets, click. Look for evidence, 6.15. Oh, and the thinking man, 6 hours 15, and I think that's all of the exclamation marks. Yeah, there are four exclamation marks there that you need to do, so get four sims over to do that. Your sim finds elf-like boot prints on the soapbox. Pat attempted to get some elevation looking for Rudolph. Your sim finds tufts of a pom-pom stuck in the barbecue. Pat checked here in case Rudolph was hungry. Your sim finds a broken bell from an elfin hat. Ahem, uh looks like Pat needed a break. <laughs> Your sim finds traces of red fabric near the Thinking Man statue. The Thinking Man is one of Rudolph's inspirations. And that is task completed. Now we need to send Sim home. Your sim finds evidence that Pat exhausted all possibilities that Rudolph was in the park, then left to search further afield. Perhaps they went to a sim's house. Send your sim home. So into sim tracker and just click on the go home. And then follow your sim home, task complete. Now talk to Pat the elf. Your sim arrives home and finds a stressed looking elf, Pat. Have your sim talk to Pat the elf. So let's click on Pat, he's near the snowman. Talk for 10 minutes. Give Pat a shoulder massage. Your sim talks to Pat. I can't find Rudolph, I've let Christmas slip. I'm failing in all my elf KPIs. Seems like Pat is one straw away from snapping. If your sim just releases the tension in Pat's trapeze, have your sim give Pat a shoulder massage. Let's click on him. Shoulder massage is four hours, 15 minutes. Oh, poor thing. Now ask Pat about the last elf. Your sim's trigger point massage technique elicits a deep sigh of relief from Pat. Now they should get some clarity. Have your sim ask Pat if they know the whereabouts of the last elf. So back to click on Pat and ask about the last elf is 10 minutes. Ride Rudolph to Santa's workshop. Your sim asks Pat if he knows the whereabouts of the last elf. Dave's back at the workshop. That's it. All the elves have been located. Time to get Santa's workshop cranking. Send your sim to the park and ride Rudolph back to Santa's workshop. So over at the park, Rudolph is by the lake. Click on him and ride to Santa's workshop. Now discuss strategies with Dave. Your sim arrives at Santa's workshop and finds Dave, the elf, in charge, looking deeply concerned. Have your sim talk to Dave about his concerns. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. Everyone's working. Dave's bothered though. Discuss strategies. Three hours, 15 minutes. We've finished discussing strategies and that is the eighth set of goals completed and we have received the cosy comfort pack. Elf Kurt's mind is at ease. Clues to Pat lead beyond the park trees. Sore shoulders relieved. Productivity unachieved. Can Dave devise new strategies?
on to part nine. In this part, we are playing for the rustic dining pack. First thing we need to do, check in with Frank. Dave is deeply concerned about the pace of production. Your sim suggests a whole raft of production strategies. Dave sighs in relief. They will absolutely work. If Dave has concerns, your sim should check in with the other elves as well. Have your sim check in with Frank. So let's click and check in for 1 hour 15. We've checked in with Frank. Now we need to check in with Kurt. Your sim checks in with Frank who says, My task list just keeps growing and toy designs are becoming too complex. Sounds like a case of classic toy creep. Wonder if Kurt has a similar story. Have your sim check in with Kurt. Click on Kurt and check in 1 hour 25. Now we need to check in with Pat. Kurt tells your sim a similar story. I'm getting a lot of toy defects and it's putting my production right behind. It's clear that the elves are struggling to stay on top of the workload. Have your sim check in with Pat. Click on Pat and check in 1 hour 35 minutes. We've checked in. Now avoid burnout. Your sim checks in with Pat. Dave schedules too many meetings, it's putting us behind. The elves are working hard but the signs of crunch are beginning to show. There has to be a way to speed up production without risking elf burnout. Have your sim talk to Dave about avoiding elf burnout. So click on Dave. Void burnout, 2 hours 35 minutes. Turn present machine up to 110%. Your sim expresses concerns about elf burnout and asks Dave if there's another way to speed up production. We could dial the present making machine up to 110%. Sounds like a plan. So let's click on the present making machine over here and turn it up to 110. Percent is 5 hours 15 minutes. We've turned it up. Now speak to Dave about backup, backup plan. Your sim dials up the present making machine. For a moment it looks like the plan is going to work, but only for a moment. Looks like the present machine has burnt out. Does Dave have a backup backup plan? Oh my goodness, this is not good. Click on Dave and discuss backup backup plan. One hour, 15 minutes. Look at that, the machine is broken. Place outsourcing orders. Your sim speaks to Dave about a backup backup plan. We can outsource the present shortfall. Here's a list of suppliers. You will need to contact them on a computer. Have your sim place 10 outsourcing orders. So we need to go home to a computer. Click on a computer and place outsourcing orders is five hours. So you want to get 10 three star computers if you can and get 10 sims doing this. We have finished that. Now we need to go to Santa's workshop. Your sim places the orders specifying the delivery address Santa's workshop 1 North Pole. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's workshop in preparation for the delivery. And once we get over to Santa's workshop, congratulations, we've completed the ninth set of gold and we've received the rustic dining. Elves at the point of burnout, a new plan to roll out. Orders online, will they arrive in time? Wait at the workshop, deliveries en route. Now on to the tenth. In the tenth, we are playing for the haul pack. We need to unpack boxes. The outsourcing orders have arrived at Santa's workshop. In your sim's absence, the elves repaired the present machine. Everything is coming together. Have your sim unpack the boxes from the outsourcing shipment at Santa's workshop. So we need to do four boxes. So let's click on the boxes outside. Unpack is four hours and we are going to get four sims over to do this. To make this quicker, click on the other boxes. Are they all four hours? Yes, they are. All unpacked, sort letter pile. Thanks to your sims, the entire shipment of outsourced toys is unpacked in record time. That will take the pressure off the elves. Next task, finalize the naughty and nice breakdown. Have your sims sort through the letter pile into naughty and nice. Over to the letter pile, click on and sort letters, five minutes. Now ask Mrs. Claus about managing letters. Your sim sifts through the mountain of letters, but new letters keep arriving. There has to be an easier way. As Chief Behaviour Officer, Mrs. Claus will know. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse and ask Mrs. Claus about managing letters. Rudolph is just outside here. Click on him and ride to Santa's farmhouse. Over at the farmhouse, find Mrs. Claus and ask about letters is five minutes. Now decrypt Naughty and Nice app. Your sim speaks to Mrs. Claus about how slow it is to sort the letters. 
It's just tradition, she laughs. Santa has a naughty and nice app that's heavily encrypted. Have 12 Sims decrypt the naughty and nice app from a computer. So we need 12 Sims for this. Click on a computer and decrypt naughty and nice is six hours. I would definitely suggest you're gonna need two houses to do this in, but placing maybe 10 computers in one, two computers in the other, and get 12 Sims. If you have got 12 Sims spare, working on this. Calculate presence and coal. Your sims decrypt the naughty and nice app. Looks like naughty and nice are derived from a function that allocates coal demerits based on a sims nice quotient. This is then fed into a propriety formula that calculates the amount of presence and coal needed. Have your sims calculate the number of presents and coal needed for Christmas at a computer. So click on the computer and calculate presence and coal, eight minutes, done. Now give Dave new numbers. The computer spits out the final numbers for presents and coal. Wow, those coal numbers are not even close to the estimates. Dave is going to need the new numbers ASAP. Have your sim ride Rudolph back to Santa's workshop to give Dave the new numbers. Click on Dave and give him the numbers is 15 minutes. Dig up coal. Your sim gives the coal estimates to Dave. How are we going to make up the shortfall? Where does coal even come from? Your sim is used to digging up minerals. Have up to four sims dig for coal at the X marks around Santa's workshop. Quick complete for extra coal. So we need 13 all together. But let's have a look around the workshop. There are X's around. Click on them. Dig for coal is five hours. Is it five hours everywhere? Yes, it is. You can have up to four sims doing this. So definitely go for four sims doing it. And if you do use LPs to speed it up, you will get more coal. We've got four pieces there, three pieces there, four pieces, three pieces, and that is task complete. Obviously you may need to do it over again, depending upon how many pieces of coal you got. Now talk to Dave about coal quota. Your sims work hard and dig up enough coal to meet the new Christmas quota. Better give the good news to Dave. Let's go ahead and click on Dave, and that is five minutes to talk about the coal quota. And congratulations, we've completed the tenth set of gold in the Missing Claws Christmas Quest and received the haul pack. On to part 11. Presents were delivered as needed, naughty and nice list exceeded. Coal has to be found from underground, production proceeds unimpeded. In part 11, we are playing for the Rustic Lounge pack. We need to talk to Mrs. Claus about next steps. Numbers are spot on, says Dave. The big man will be happy. Phew, no more hard labour for your sim. With presents and coal sorted, it's time to see what the next steps are. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse and talk to Mrs. Claus about the next steps. So we'll click on Mrs. Claus. Talk about next steps is 10 minutes. Now clear overgrowth. Your sim tells Mrs. Claus that workshop production is on track. Now it's time to clear the overgrowth around the farm so it's ready for Christmas Eve, she says. Have your sim clear the overgrowth around the farmhouse. We need to do that four times. So let's take a little look. Click on this one. Clear is 11 hours. And this one is 11 hours. We'll call over two more sims. And this one, 11 hours. So definitely get four sims over here clearing the overgrowth so you can complete that quicker. Talk to Mrs. Claus. Your sim clears the overgrowth. Finally, all the preparations for Christmas are complete. The Clauses will be thrilled to hear the news. Have your sim tell Mrs. Claus that the farm is ready for Christmas. So back over to the house. Mrs. Claus, talk to for two hours, 15 minutes. Take a break on a couch. Your sim tells Mrs. Claus that the farm is all prepped for Christmas. Your sim deserves a break. Let's click on a couch downstairs and take a break is two hours and 10 minutes. Now we need to go to Santa's workshop. Your sim feels better after a rest. Better check in with Santa and confirm his sleigh launch time. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's workshop. Rudolph is out here, click and ride to Santa's workshop. Over at the workshop, we need to confirm launch time with Santa. Your sim arrives at Santa's workshop. The whole place is running like a well-oiled machine. Your sim can't help but feel a twinge of pride. Only one thing left to do. 
have your sim confirm the launch time with Santa. So let's click on Santa and confirm launch time, four hours, 15 minutes. And congratulations, we completed the 11th set of goals and received the Rustic Lounge Pack. All the work is finally complete. A clean reindeer pen, so neat. Everything is steady. What? The sleigh is not ready. Are Santa's launch plans now obsolete? On to the 12th part. In the 12th part, we are playing to unlock the Rustic Furniture Pack. The first thing we need to do, turn off present making machine. Your sim checks in with Santa. He is deeply grateful for your sim's hard work and as a token of his gratitude, your sim will have the honour of shutting down the present machine for another year. A simple button press doesn't sound too hard. Click on the present machine and turn off is 10 minutes. Talk to Santa about the ground check. Your sim turns off the present making machine. With everything accounted for, your sim should help Santa ground check the sleigh. Let's click on Santa and talk about ground check 30 minutes. Check the sleigh. Santa walks your sim through the sleigh ground check. Seems pretty straightforward. Have your sim check the sleigh. So outside Santa's workshop, there's an X. Click on check sleigh, two hours, 15 minutes. Calm Santa down. OMG, the sleigh is missing. This is less than ideal. Your sim manages to stay calm, but Santa, not so much. I don't blame him. Here he comes. Let's click on him. Oh my goodness, Santa's crying. Calm him down for one hour and 15 minutes. We know where the sleigh is. It's over at the park. It's just broken. Check the crashed sleigh. In a sea of panic, your sim is like a calm cork. The missing sleigh isn't missing. It crashed in the park when Rudolph took off to find help. That's a relief. Well, except for the crashed part. What state is the sleigh in? Have your sim ride Rudolph back to the park and check the sleigh. So again, click on Rudolph and ride to the park. Over at the park, the sleigh is here and check for 45 minutes. Now search for missing sleigh parts. The frost capacitor is severely damaged. Part broke away when the sleigh crashed. Your sim must find the pieces, but need a way of charging the frost capacitor when they do. Have up to four sims search for nine missing sleigh parts in the park. So let's click and search for missing sleigh parts is 7 hours and 30 minutes. Let's call over some more sims to help with this, as many as we can. And there are exclamation marks around the park to show you where you can search. So just click on the exclamation marks. That is task complete. Obviously with that one, just keep going until you find enough sleigh parts. Now let's call Les Clues from a phone. I forgot all about Les Clues. Your sim collects the missing frost capacitor parts. They have them all, but one. Who is good at finding things? Les, Detective Les Clues. From a phone, have your sim call Les Clues. So let's head home. And at home, click on a phone and call Les is one hour, 12 minutes. Now discuss the missing part with Les in the park. Your sim calls Les Clues. After clarifying that a frost capacitor was not in any way involved in a crime, Les says he will meet your sim at the park to discuss the case, so we need to head back to the park. And Les is wandering around with an exclamation mark above his head. Discuss missing part, 3 hours, 45 minutes. Congratulations, we've completed the 12th set of goals in the Missing Claws Christmas Quest, and we have received the Rustic Furniture Pack. Where is the sleigh? Santa suspects foul play. Your sim knows, the list of parts grows. Les can help if he's not led astray. So that is the 12 days completed. Now the 13th day is to play for the rustic farmhouse, which is adorable. The first thing we need to do, your sim describes the missing frost capacitor part to Les Clues. You mean this? Les says, handing over the final part. How did Les do that? Have your sim ask Les how he found the missing part so quickly. We'll talk to Les is five minutes. Install a final part in the sleigh. Your sim is incredulous. How did Les find the part so quickly? Easy, says Les. I put a request up on sim list. Your sim is not sure that a detective was required at all. Have your sim install the final part of the frost capacitor in the sleigh. Click on the sleigh and install final piece, 30 minutes. 
all done. Now call the ice queen from a phone. Your sim installs the final part of the frost capacitor. Problem is, the frost capacitor still needs to be charged with magical ice. The ice queen. Let's head home to use a phone. Once at home, click on the phone and call the ice queen. Three hours, 20 minutes. Now ask the ice queen to charge the frost capacitor. Your sim calls the ice queen, begging her to charge the sleigh's frost capacitor. They tell her that it's urgent as Christmas is coming fast. I'll be in the park, the ice queen replies. So let's head back to the park. Over at the park, the ice queen is here by the sleigh. Click on her and ask to charge for two hours, 15 minutes. Fly the sleigh to Santa's workshop. With the return of winter weather, the ice queen says it will be no problem for her to recharge the frost capacitor. She channels her energy, fully charging the sleigh. With Christmas days away, there's no time to lose. Have your sim fly the sleigh back to Santa's workshop. Let's click on the sleigh and fly to Santa's workshop. Back at the workshop. Now we need to talk to Dave. Your sim races to the North Pole in Santa's sleigh. Christmas is tomorrow. So why is the workshop so quiet? Dave is the only elf around. Let's talk to Dave for 30 minutes. Your sim talks to Dave who explains that your sim just missed Santa. He left an invitation for your sim to attend a pre-flight feast as a thank you and everyone is there waiting. Dave says, all sims need to skidaddle. I gotta shut down the workshop for the boss. Have all your sims leave Santa's workshop. So this is it. We are saying goodbye to Santa's workshop for another year. I love this place. I can't wait to be back next year. Go into your sim tracker and just send all sims home. And they will leave Santa's workshop. Task complete. Now we need to change clothes for Santa's pre-flight feast. Santa's workshop has been shut down for the year and what an honour to be invited to Santa's pre-flight feast. Better look the part. So let's get some nice clothes on. Click a wardrobe and change into something nice. You don't actually have to change, you can just click into a wardrobe and click back out and that will be task completed. Now we need to ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse. Your sim changes clothes. Now that feels truly festive. Better not keep the man in red waiting any longer. Go to the park and ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse. Click on Rudolph and ride to Santa's farmhouse. Now join Santa's feast. Your sim arrives at Santa's farmhouse and can smell the aroma of a feast wafting from the backyard. Everyone is waiting. After fixing a crashed sleigh, digging for coal and quelling an elf's alecturophobia, it's time to relax. Have six sims join Santa's feast at Santa's farmhouse. So let's call over some more sims to join in the feast. To join Santa's feast, you need to head outside to this beautiful area. Check that out. How glorious is that? Join Santa's feast is 12 hours and you need to get six sims doing that. Look at that. How amazing is that to end the quest with our sims sitting with Mrs. Claus and Santa in this beautiful area in the snow having a Christmas feast. The feast is finished. Now we need to say farewell to Santa and Mrs. Claus. Your sim joins the Christmas table and enjoys a delicious feast. Everyone is truly grateful for your sim's help. If it wasn't for them, Mrs. Claus would still be sick with her fever and Christmas would have had no presents or coal. Have your sim say farewell to Santa and Mrs. Claus. Click on Santa here and say farewell for four hours, 15 minutes. We've said our goodbyes. Now we need to send all our sims home. Your sim says their farewells to the clauses who have teared up and can't believe your sim went above and beyond everyone's expectations. Now it's time for your sim to head home and wait to see what surprises Santa has in store for them on Christmas morning. Send all sims at Santa's farmhouse home. So we just need to go into Sim Tracker and send everyone home. Remember if you want to see an in-depth tour of this farmhouse there is a link down below in the description but let's click go home everyone. Let's leave Santa's farmhouse for good. And once everyone has gone home, that is task complete. And you can see at the bottom, 100% of 
That is Quest Complete. Congratulations by going above and beyond, curing Mrs. Claus and saving Christmas. Your sim has been awarded Santa's rustic farmhouse and unique A-frame roof. Build it on any empty house lot. So there you go. That is the Missing Claws seasonal 13-day quest. I have made a video showcasing all of the prizes in this quest. That video is linked below if you want to check them out, which of course you want to check out the prizes from this quest. There are some adorable ones. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you soon. Bye.